we have a wind situation that is not conducive to good filming but if the microphone is working at all we're headed up there stopped here because there's a tram line coming down here you can see the remains of the tram tower right there pretty cool and then like I said we're headed up there so it's like it's gonna be a bushwhacking hike but it's cold and windy so it'll be good for us follow this miners trail up and have unintentionally made it to our destination I thought we were gonna have to hike over the mountain but the miners have done us a big favor as you'll see in a little while we've got a little open stove here and then there's an attic over here you guys are gonna like what's in this video I think I'm pretty confident about that there's the attic I think I'm gonna start with the open stope drop down there and see where that goes cuz I bet that ties into this just dropped in from there and I joined my friends down here. See some metal scraps. And that's one of my friends. That's backfilled right there. And then I will drop down and pick up down there. Just drop down here. So I've got some vent pipe on the ground there. Some gobbing here. And this is part of that chamber. Wow. They stoped this fairly extensively. Yeah. The rats obviously have found this hospitable as well. For us, it's nice to get out of the wind. The view up through the stoke chamber is pretty. It's larger than I expected, I have to say. Far larger than I expected. But you can see they are drilling here and it cut through some very distinctly colored rock. In other words, if you look at the what's around it, you wouldn't necessarily expect it to look like that. Okay, let's get into that attic. So we just checked out the open stope on the other side. I'm back at this attic. Let's get in and show you what's here. Those are my footprints, because I wanted to see where this went. I thought it was just a little prospect, but like I said, I think you guys are gonna like, like the surprise on this one. I didn't go in the open stove before. That was new, but this, I just went through the main part to verify what was here. I haven't done any of the side stuff yet. because so we've got a little stove chamber down there. See, I would have assumed that tied into the stove we were just checking out, but it doesn't. And then we've got a cool little chamber, a bunch of stoles here that has a drift running off in this direction. There's a pillar in front of me, pillar there. Lots of little pillars. And this seems like this passage is just wrapping around. Goes through the other side. Right there. Here. That's pretty cool. Where it, that doesn't run through? Um, yeah, it looks like it did, but still. Ah, well that's pretty cool that they went all the way around it. Another view of the stoke chamber. And then this. Just a little stoke chamber and then that obviously ties into what's behind me here. We're stoping. Carrying a head. Just backfilled right there. Some scraps of wood on the ground. And then this is where that little 
drift wrapping all the way around this chamber comes out how cool is that huh you don't see a pattern like that. I like it when the miners do interesting layouts I'm sure they did that just for us too just notice there's a fault wall here see how flat and smooth that is and then they let it go up here I guess it didn't assay out to anything but normally those fault zones can be highly mineralized and so the miners will often chase those little nook right there the spool right there and then this keeps running ahead farther than you might think they may have had a little stope going down here at one time but it's all back filled with with rubble now I don't know if you guys can hear the airflow and the microphone of the camera, but there's good airflow here. The attic keeps running ahead that way, but there's a chamber here. There's stuff running off over there. I haven't explored any of this yet. Stuff running off here. There's looks like a specimen right there. And then my friends just started dropping down there so I'll catch up with them and see what they've discovered I just crawled down from up there and the reason I crawled is because obviously a lot of water has come down here at some point this may have been smooth at one time but you see how it's all washed out which is weird because there was no sign of water being up above you know in terms of dried mud or anything like that and yet, obviously, a huge volume of water has come down. There's some of the dried mud in here. And has filled this in pretty extensively. So, that's my friend's legs right there. That's about as much space as you get until you get to that point. And I've got to wait until he moves before I can get in there. Looks like water came down through here, too. So, I'm down at the bottom of that chamber. And that's not sunlight. That's my friend shining his light down that pipe. And that pipe is actually an ore chute. Okay, thank you. That pipe is actually an ore chute dumping material in for that stope that was off to the right. And speaking of ore chutes, oh, there you are. I wondered it's how that a, could. It's quite the rabbit warren getting up here. Really? On all fours. Well, there's my friend up there. There's a stope there. Obviously, you saw I panned over an ore chute here. Still has the the metal latch on it. Usually those are gone. So, obviously they're dumping a bunch of ore down here, but how they got it up to that point has been obscured by all the material that's washed down here. So, they probably had some sort of simple hoisting system there, but this is pretty cool. I just crawled through there to get into the stope here and obviously you have to crawl to get the next section you can see some of it here that connects there's quite the labyrinth of stoping in this mine I just crawl through there to get into this larger honeycomb of stoping my other friend is up above us there I assume it just meanders around up there as well. Yeah, it's just a big old stoke out area. And it, I think it connects and drops back down. And yeah. It just came through. I think it did from what I looked up and saw. Over here, more of the same. Here's little bits and pockets running off all over the place. Miners always leave their clothing underground. See what a labyrinth that was? I haven't even gone up to where my friend's dropping down from. And I don't even remember if I showed you there. Yeah, there's a room over here too. That pipe I showed dropping down. That's it right there. That's looking down to where I was a moment ago. And then there's more here. This is the actual ore chute. See my friend 
down there see his light that's where i was looking up a moment ago so here's the up side or top side of the ore sheet more stoping there back past that riveted pipe we just looked down there as a reminder that's the way we came in we haven't explored this yet over here and that's the way to keep going but we've got to check out this stuff over here there's a spool right there and then it looks like that connects to this stoping over here although I can tell you you don't want to make assumptions about this mine it's a tricky one Yeah, okay, so that assumption was correct. And that, that area where the spool is connects there. Here. Is that just a huge boulder that came down and pinched out the drift? What was that? Did that boulder just come down and pinch out the drift? Kind of, but you can still get through to the next part of the drift. No, I was just curious if uh, that was just a stope or actually there was a drift running through there. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to climb over that, so I'll pick up up there. Just climbed over the boulder there and you can see that I'm in a stope chamber but a ton of material has come down. The drift continues down there. But look how much stuff I have to climb down to get back to the level of the drift. Gives you an idea of how much material caved in this stope. Got the obligatory Budweiser cans. Actually, a good number of them. Wow. This must have been a good spot for them. Oh, that's the Marlboros, too. Mine Explorer's Delight. Ore shoot right here. Actually, in pretty good shape. The wood's in good shape. Despite how much water appeared to have gone down the other, or that little, I don't even know what you call it, that little decline we saw before. Don't see any sign of that here, and the wood is in good shape. Ah, oh, cool. Another one of those ore shoot pipes from the looks of it. Yeah. Another one of the ore shoot pipes. And you can see they did have rail in here at one time from the divots in the ground, but they don't anymore. They pulled it out, used it somewhere else, or maybe got reclaimed in World War II. This war chute actually wasn't plugged. Got stuff running off of that way, that way, and that, wow, that way. I'll bet that runs back to the main drift, so I think I'm gonna. Ooh, man. I think I'm gonna go left on this one. This mine, the layout of this mine, it's crazy. So many twists and turns and surprises. I still have a big surprise to share with you guys. I think my friends were this way too. I think I hear their voices. And that little hole right there. That runs through to there. Pretty big stope chamber here. With a cool pillar. Where does that run to? Yeah. Just faces out? Yeah, well. I'll see. It's interesting not to go. Okay. that way. More stope chamber here. It's funny because if you see this from where we went in, you would think it was just a hundred foot prospect. Look at remains of a dynamite box.
more stoping. Getting low, very low. It's my backpack scraping. Not sure what that was for. And then the rail. So we pick the rail up and it runs around. It looks like it might have been a muck sheet. And they might have had this pinned up to control the dust. Anyway, this oh, keeps going actually. Wraps around to there. And then there's a raise right there. All right, that faced out right there. Oh, and they had a little star to stope or a raise here. We just looked down there. Now we've got the center one to check out. There's stopiness running off in all directions of my friends up there. And See the labyrinth of stoping carries on all over the place. Obviously the stope ran there, but it's been backfilled or too much material has come down. So I will climb up there. I was just down there where my friend's packs are. They made the terrible mistake of leaving their packs behind. Never leave your pack. Never leave your pack, exactly. This is an idea of what's up here. You see the stoping running off in all directions. If my friend's voice sounded like it was beneath me, you're right, because he's hanging out inside the ore chute there, checking things out. And then, if you look behind us, that ties into the area where we looked up as we were going down that other drift. I was just perched on the edge of the ore chute, checking things out. And we essentially have a sub-level up here. So you can see the stoping runs here. That goes back to the chamber we looked up before. This, I think the end's over there. We'll go check and if there's anything, I'll go back and show you. And then this ends right there, a little shallow depression right there. And then behind me, this has a little mini drift running off in this direction. So that's delaminating right there. And you've got that very abused timber holding that up. And then this, I bet this is that chamber. Yeah, this is that chamber we looked up before. Remember when we came through here? Looked up and saw the pillar and such. That was the area we just checked out. We've got this last drift to check out. Nothing there. And I bet this ties into the main adit. Seems like a convenient haulage route. It's pretty spacious too, especially compared to the other stuff we've been hiking through. Some wood scraps on the ground. Although, like I said, I've learned to definitely not make any assumptions about this mine. But yeah, I think that's... I'm just going to go back and double check, but I'm pretty sure this is where we came through. Yeah, I can feel the airflow. And I recognize this stuff. So, we solved one area. Some stoping up there. This is actually a giant pillar over my head. See, it comes out over there too. More stoping. That air feels good. Nice cool air. And that's that chamber where we took off to go check out the stuff that's on the right. So, pick up back here. So, to reiterate, we just came from 
four in the section back there. Got a spool here. We were freezing on the way in, but the cool air feels good now. So the attic keeps going that way. And now we have, did you guys go? It's just a face. Okay, just a face. I thought that might have been a, a little raise or something, but it's just a face. So we'll continue that way. Continuing down the attic. We've got something here. It's just a hole in the ground. That was actually a joke because my friend uh, used that to describe what turned out to be an incredible mine. But yeah, that really is just a hole in the ground with the infrastructure to haul out, you know, something bucket by bucket. And then that it keeps going this way. Got some nice gobbing here. The platform. I'm looking through the cracks in the platform. I think it's pretty loaded with rock. The attic continues straight. We've got more stoping above us. And actually, it runs way up there. See that platform there? My friends are trying to get up there on a sketchy ladder. I'm gonna have to join them if there's anything more than just what we can see right now. There's a look overhead. It's probably 25 feet up straight. The report that we've gotten is it's just stoping, large chamber, and that terminates there. And the one he walked down actually connects down here. So I'm going to show you that. So where he just went up to ties into that section there. See all the stoping running up there. I think that's, yeah. Yeah, just, I had to take a look at that. That's the remains of a ladder right there. Kind of like a rail for a second. There's stoke chamber I'm in. You can see running up all through here maybe 20 25 feet got an airline down by my feet and you can see daylight over there I'm excited to show you guys what's back there but for the sake of completeness got to get all this stuff along the way looks like they started to drift here and let it go Got a big blast of dust. So we've got something dropping down here. And we've got some stuff up here. We just did the rock test on this and it went down a respectable way from the sound of it. But we're wondering, given the way this mine is, if there's not a better way to access whatever is there over here. I'm excited to show you guys what's beyond. In the meantime, before I forget, there's a drift running back here. Obviously a fair amount of water gets back here. And that faces out right there. So let's take a look and see if there's not another way to access. See the airline in front of me still? Access that chamber we heard. And if not, we'll pull out a hand line and get down to it. Okay, so there was this mess I bypassed. I'm gonna scout this out before, but it looks like that drops down to that chamber. So, we can climb down that, or climb down the other. We'll take a closer look, and then I'm gonna show you guys what's over here, and you're gonna like it. I just dropped down through there. My friends like to race ahead when it's easy, but when it's stuff like this, they're happy to have me do it first and recon it out. Dropped into a chamber here that there's a drift running that way. And when I looked behind me, 
that's daylight there. Obviously, I could have just gone a little bit more and come in via and add it there, but since I'm here, now we know. No footprints in here, which is good. And that's probably why. Because that's the end. Feral sort of little rays going up. And then that's the end. So now we know. And now, when I pick up next, I'm going to start to show you guys the cool surprise. Back up to that attic we're coming out of, and I think that the light meter is getting completely thrown off by the contrast, but the attic we've been coming through is there. And just before I show you the outside, we noticed this really cool improvised ore chute here. You can see they've got a vent pipe with remains of a carbide can bolted it together to make a cool homemade ore sheet. So that's pretty cool, but it's not as cool as this entire labyrinth of rail up here. With the wind, I don't know if my phone or main camera is going to do a better job here, so I'm going to try both and see what looks best when I'm editing or sounds best. So again, to recap, that's where we came out, or we went in on the other side of the mountain and are coming out here. So that's what I meant by the miners doing us a big favor because we didn't have to climb over all of that. Got rails just running off everywhere. I can't remember if I already mentioned the fact there's a tram line right there that runs down to station and workings there. The rail in front of me runs out to a platform there. You see the reins of it there. And it looks like there might have been a station that also dropped down to where that cable was running. So, and then presumably they had another one running to the valley. I think the best thing to do would just be to start walking out these rails for you see where it takes us there's as you can see a lot of workings over there drops down and around so I'm just gonna start walking it out do you remember that attic I climbed down to this is where it came out here and then you'll notice the rail is that way well, you can't tell in two dimensions the rails at an angle you can see by how much based on that wastewater pile there and there's some cable here around my feet so obviously they were winching work cars up or down along there and then the track keeps running out in this direction if we're coming from that direction you can see the tram line in the distance come around the bend get a better view of the workings over here looks like there's a mini head frame there Maybe another tram station. And of course the rail still doing its thing in front of us in an aesthetically pleasing manner. So I'm gonna put the camera away for a minute and scout this out and I'll pick up when I've got an idea of what's going on. The wind is not cooperating with me at all. So hopefully this audio isn't messed up, but I gotta show you guys this. Look at this hoist here. It still has a foot pedal there. It's attached, but it's still there. With the cable still on it. A little head frame there. It would have pulled something up, skip car up, dumped it into the little chute there, and then you see the rail there, they would have had something taking it down to that other rail junction. I'm gonna take a couple still images here and then I'll pick up in that portal there. Okay, this is an interesting one. I've got the head frame here to my right. You can see, and directly in front of me is a vertical shaft, and it's a deep one. I can't see the bottom, and I tossed the rock down, and I didn't even hear it hit anything. So, it's a deep one. There's an adit there. 
But to get to the adit, one has to scurry over these very dry rotted four by fours. And you know what? I'm just not that keen to see what I suspect is a little prospect at it. So I'm gonna move on to the next one. We just check out the head frame, tiny little prospect at it right there. A few of the workings, my friends are checking out some of the others. Seems like a lot of prospect at it's here. You can see I did a little surface work there. Something was mounted right there. You can see the rebar behind me here. Very old shaft. You can see it's falling in on itself. Head frame here, it's still some of the cable. And I don't see a sheave wheel there. But you have the head frame. I'm shooting up there. Finally, I'll be out of the wind a little bit in this cutout here. And if you can see, they had a sort of a shop here. There's a stand for blacksmith. You can see they have that remains of that wooden door there. And then it, it only runs back to there and stops. But it's kind of cool how they made a little workshop here. Seal us is here and hopefully stay out of the wind. We are just looking in there. See the rail line we followed in above. There's a very well-made miner's trail here. A little prospect here my friends are checking out. But it seems like they're turning around, so no go? Well, there's a pit we can't cross without building a bridge. Oh, another pit. They like the pits here. So, since we don't have bridge laying equipment with us, we're going to have to carry on. We're just looking over there. Came over to this one. Stuck our heads in this one, just runs back and stops right there. So, another prospect, lots of prospects around here. We're gonna keep following this really good Myers trail and see why it's here. The trail just works up, intercepts the rail level. So, we'll head back and check out more of these workings. Working my way back over. It's kind of cool, there's this old engine block here. And something else that I thought was kind of cool. The remains of this crate here. You don't usually see them that intact. Usually they all busted up. Like I said, we're wrapping our way over there. Next set of workings. This looks very stopy. There's some bending and wrapping around. It oh, drops down fairly substantially there, and also there. And there's more stoping here. I bet we're gonna see this side of that on the right in a second. Then looking down there, there you go. Coming out of this little section, my friend pointed out, you can see if you look carefully at this post in front, you can see where the miners are hammering at it with rail. See the indentations from the rail on it? That may have been to get it into place, but it's a little low for that, so. Who knows, but for some reason, they were hammering on that with a rail. All right, we've dropped down to the next one. A little trench cut in here, which is nice to get out of the wind. Did you find the uh, priceless Sacred pair of pants? Sacred pants. Priceless sacred pants, right on. That was real. It's real, but I think main drift might be collapsed. Oh. Who knows? I think it might be able to that over. doesn't look too promising, but we'll have to get back there and look. See the rodents have made use of the vent pipe. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. And the rail keeps going. We're good and the rail keeps going, so I'll pick up over there. We just crawled through there, and there's a little opening to the outside world there, but I've switched cameras again, because this seems promising. Got the rail, this is cool already. The rail immediately 
kicks off at a sharp angle. Little stope right there. And <clears throat> oh, nice and clean. So we have a clean at it taken off in this direction. There's a little nothing cross cut. There's a stope, small stope, and then an ore chute. It's actually much larger than I would have anticipated for what I thought was a small drift. I gotta be careful when making assumptions about this mine. And see the stope is mostly filled in up there. We've got the drift continuing the ahead. That's my buddy right there. Stuff going that way. And I see one of those pipe ore shoots. Little backfilled stope. I'm gonna come down here because I like to look at that pipe ore shoot. The that it keeps going back there. There's appears to be a stope. Yeah, a little stope here. Oh, that ties ties in over there where we were just looking up. And then you see how they created this pipe or chute and held it in place. I think those are really cool. Coming in here. These must be older workings. If you look at the timbers they're using, you know, the unmilled rough wood. I'm in another little chamber here. That is the end of this drift. We were just looking down there, and now we have this drift to run out, which doesn't go too far. Just goes to this ore chute here. Now this is a conventional ore chute, obviously. I don't know why they decided to use these in some cases and pipes in the other, unless they were just using the pipes and the smaller stopes. There is, look up it. I can't see too much, but there's obviously a decent chamber up there. But again, pretty, that's the other one we looked in through. Not very big, so it seems that the workings on this side of the hill are all pretty much what you would classify as prospects. The wind's killing me, but the last Little process which we checked out is behind me. You can see this ore chute and trestle in front of me here that the tram line ran down to. It looks like they had a way of coming up here and taking ore car loads down. There's a little added back here. We're gonna have to go check out. Oh, it's got rail too, so we'll have to get in there and see how that looks. Just the side of the portal here, you know, the damned wind blasting in behind me. Little pocket there, and I hope this isn't the end here. Okay, good. Keeps going to the right. Got ore shoot right here, and I see a bunch of daylight up there. I bet this is one of those we looked down on before. See how it beat to hell that metal lining is? That's kind of cool. Comes back here is my friend's backpack and no sign of my friend, so he climbed up that way. There he is. What's up there? Uh, the surface. That way and that way, large stope areas that haven't been up there yet. You see a lot of timbering and sunlight. I think that's the one we looked down uh, a few prospects back. Oh, the one we wanted to get into? Yeah. Is this kind of too much of a pain? Yeah, I think it's that one. All right, well, if you want to come up, here's an easy way. Okay, I'll check it out in a second. Uh, and that is dead end right there. Yeah. We were just down there, and I climbed up into this little stopey area here. And yeah, that just ties into 
those workings we looked down into before so just stopes for you guys coming back up from checking those down there just looking at all the nooks and crannies to make sure we didn't miss anything i'm standing directly underneath the tram line which is kind of a cool perspective you can see the towers up there in the distance Here's the bottom of that little ore chute right here. And like I said, we're just checking out some of the nooks and crannies, making sure we didn't miss anything. Funny enough, it's a really small, put my hand in it, really small little chute here for the much larger size of the chute bin. Making the hike back out, stopped to take a close look at the tram towers, and there's lots of evidence of somebody being up here for a fair amount of time because there's a bunch of old food cans and that sort of thing also a lot of oil cans and so we're thinking the operator of the aerial tram may have had some sort of structure up here to take shelter in and between eating food and putting oil in the machinery just tossing the cans down there because that's what it looks like something else really neat that my friend noticed is this tensioner here sitting on the cable how cool is that and that's anchored right there don't think i've seen this before a tensioner like that so that's pretty neat and then as a reminder we came in there which saves us the hike out and over the mountain I was talking about the oil cans up here, and this one's actually in a good enough condition. You can read the Texaco motor oil on it. I can't make out what the bottom thing says, but got def definitely have Texaco motor oil. You see some of the logo down there, and they pop the top open to drain it out. These are just all over the place, too. So whatever machinery was powering this trans system sucked out a lot of oil.